Speed Made Good Practice Problem 2 says, At 10.14, you depart the entrance to Lake Montauk with light one close aboard. At 12.22, your position is latitude 41.15.8, longitude 71.50.9. What is a speed made good? We know we're working with distance, speed, and time. And we're given the correct information to find time. End time, 12.22 minus start time, 10.14, can give us the change in time. So 12.22, 12 hours, 22 minutes, 10.14, 10, 10 hours, 14 minutes. We subtract these two. Good, we know we can take 14 away from 22. Just going to borrow. And now this is 12 minus 4 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we have, and 12 minus 10 is 2. We have 2 hours and 8 minutes. Now, or, yes, 2 hours and 8 minutes. This 2 hours is good. This time must be in hours only. So we need to take these 8 minutes, 8 minutes, and divide it by 60 and get clear. 8 divided by 60 equals 0.13 hours. 0.13 hours. So time, we have 2.13 hours. 2.13 hours. So if we use our D Street memory aid, distance, speed, time, we need to get speed, right? Speed is equal to distance divided by time. So we need our distance, distance divided by time. We can get our distance right off the chart. It says here, we depart Lake Montauk with light one close aboard. Right here. At 12.22, your position is 41.15, 71.50. So 41.15, we're just going to get a an estimate of where we are, a general location, 41.15.8, and 41.15.8, we're going to be right up in here somewhere. So I'm going to get my longitude with the parallel rules, and my latitude with the dividers. One of them, either longitude or latitude, is usually easier to get with your dividers. And in this case, it's going to be longitude, which is 7150.9. 70, 50, 50 point is 5150 50 point 9. And I'm going to go from the bottom, going up. I'm going past 15.7, right? Oh, 41, 15.8. So 41, I'm going from this 10, 15.8. Now I go from this parallel up. Look at that, right on that red and white Morse code A. There we are, there's our end. Now we can get a distance. We can go from the entrance to Lake Montauk with light one close aboard to that latitude and longitude which happens to end on that safe water mark. Okay, and now we take, this is pretty long, right? Our dividers won't do it. So what I do is get five nautical miles on the dividers and get it very accurate, accurately. Because every time you walk these down the line, any mistake that you have in there is going to add up again. So if you make one mistake here and you have to walk it three times, you'll get that mistake times three. So get it accurate, right? I have five on here. I have five on it. And now I go five, ten. And I take the remaining part right to here. And I go 10 plus this distance, 10 plus 1.6.
So I got 11.6 for my distance. Distance is 11.6. 11.6 nautical miles. Now we have everything we need to find speed. Because speed is equal to distance divided by time. So distance, 11.6 nautical, nautical miles divided by 2.13 hours. 2.13 hours equals, get the calculator, clear, 11.6 divided by 2.13 hours equals 5.446. So I'm going to say 5.4, 5.4 nautical miles per hour. Nautical miles per hour, which is equal to knots. 5.4 knots is what we have for speed made good practice problem two. We got 5.5 five right there. That's close. Let's check that out. So five, five, two is C. We have two is C. We got the correct answer. We were off a little bit, right? We got five, four, and here it said five, five. If we look at the calculator, it was 5.446. If anything greater than five, we round up. So if we wanted to start here and round this, we could say, just to make it right, six rounds that up to five which rounds the next one up to five. See how I'm trying to justify that? Good, so we got the correct answer. Speed made good, practice problem two with C.